What's going on guys? Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. So today I got my very first copyright strike and while getting one can enlist a great feeling of rage, which I felt temporarily, I wanted to talk to you guys and explain how I got it and who actually promoted my copyright strike. Yesterday I uploaded a video on the new PlayStation 4 Slim leak and in this video I talked a bit about the new revelations and gave my opinion on what direction I thought Sony was going in. I enjoy sharing my thoughts with my subscribers and I really like the conversations that spawn in the comment section of my videos. So, earlier today, in the midst of a mind-bendingly stressful day at work, I get a prompt when logging into my YouTube account and it said, you have received a copyright strike. <laughs> Surprised and confused, I inquire and see that the complaint came from Sony Computer Entertainment and that the strike was because of a small thumbnail in the upper left of the PS4 Slim leak video that showed a picture of the PlayStation 4 Slim used in the listing for its sale. I'm sure you guys know all about that by now. Now that I've had my strike cherry popped, I can't live stream using YouTube streaming, and my channel is figuratively on punishment for 90 days. And if I accrue two more strikes, in that time, my channel will be permanently banned and deleted. So, there are a lot of things that fly through your head in a situation like this, like, Sony, what the fuck? Why are you throwing copyright strikes at YouTubers who didn't create this news? I never photographed, took, stole, sold, or obtained a PlayStation 4 Slim. I, like many others who have been stricken by your angry ass, am not the person who created this news. I simply talked about it and showed one picture of what was at the time thought to be possibly a PlayStation 4 Slim. Now don't get me wrong, I believe that copyright claims should be taken seriously, but a situation like this, where it has become apparent that the system is 100% real, to go after people for simply showing an image is, in my opinion, a pointless action on the part of Sony. Striking channels won't make this news go away. It won't make you look good to the community to strike people, and it won't make the PS4 Slim go away, especially now that the cat's out of the bag. Now, honestly, guys, I count my blessings, and I sincerely feel for any unsuspecting channels with two strikes that thought that they were simply reporting the news. Channels like this would wake up to a rude awakening and see their channels forever banished. Sony, I say to you, learn from your gaming contemporaries. Microsoft revealed their Xbox One S at a planned event, and Nintendo has been working on their codename NX for years, and nobody has ever heard a peep or even seen one piece of the actual hardware. If Nintendo allows someone to take advantage of a situation and steal a Nintendo NX or post pictures of it online, then it's ultimately Nintendo's fault, as they would have been responsible for leaving their future revelation in the hands of someone who honestly shouldn't have been trusted. This leak is ultimately your fault, Sony. Somewhere down the line, someone in a position of authority allowed this system to slip through the cracks, and unless it was stolen off the back of a courier truck, then it is honestly your fault. So instead of showing your anger towards the gaming news pundits and channels on YouTube, perhaps your angry efforts will be better used to track down the sources of this leak and find those actually responsible to hold them accountable. I actually have little fear of another strike, but... Anything can happen at any time. I always count my blessings. I just hope that in the future, Sony works harder to prevent these things from happening. And if they do happen again, perhaps they will actually focus efforts in the right direction. As the gaming landscape is rapidly changing and multiple new systems are on the horizon, acts like the one taken by Sony will definitely give pause to any YouTube channels that dare to report the news and have the audacity to include an image. I hope you guys are having a great week because... Even after a work day straight out of Satan's ass and a copyright strike, I am super happy and blessed. You guys let me know in the comments below if you know someone who's been affected by Sony's blatant stupidity. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Hey, call.